morning everybody. Uh, today we're going to be talking about two species but under one single umbrella because they're very very similar. You get them in the same area. It's much easier than doing two videos that you guys have to watch. We just do it under one. Now that is the mirror fish. Now the two mirror fish that we get um, are your threadfin mirror fish and your Indian mirror fish. Now threadfin mirror fish, they're both under the Electus genus, the same genus, Electus ciliaris and your Indian murfish, Electus indicus. Very easy to remember. Ciliaris comes from obviously the threads and indicus coming from, from India, which is where it was first caught, so, or first recorded at least, so it was that. Now, Electus, the, the genus name dates back to being, or well, the name refers to uh, cockerel. Now, cockerel chicken got the long um, extensions onto its comb. And that's where the the thread fins, or thread, obviously guys call it thread fins sometimes, but the mirrorfish get their name. They've got these long extensions, mainly on the, the juveniles, long extensions on the dorsal and anal fins. So if you imagine the fish itself, and then on the fin itself, instead of having a nice short dorsal, they've got this long, long extension that runs back like that. But they're very flexible, very mobile. That's obviously lost over time. Now, the term mirrorfish comes from the fact that they're very, very flat. They are very deep bodied fish. So if you look at them from the side like that, very deep this way. But if you look at them that way on, they're very, very thin. Now, they've also got a very glossy, glossy color to them. Um, very, very sheen, uh, very, very bright sheen to them. And that's obviously mirror fish. They're very, very flattened, got a glossy sheen. Um, you can almost see yourself in their reflection. Now, where are you gonna find these guys from? They're more common on the upper, upper north coast kind of area, so I'd give it from East London north um, So you're going to find them. They are Indo-Pacific, you do find them around the world, uh, mainly in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, obviously that's where you get the name in Indo-Pacific. Um, and in terms of what they're going to be feeding on, fish, shrimps, squid, that's going to be the, the three main things that they're going to be going to be actively actively going after. Now. They really like their, their shallow water. They're not a deep water fish. They like hunting in your, your warmer shallow waters, your just behind backline kind of area. And that's where they actively look for those, those small little base hood type things, um, your little fish and things like that. So that kind of alludes to how you're gonna target them. Small white baits, if you're specifically targeting these fish, um, small little white chocker baits or small live baits if you're on a boat. They will also take lures, so the guys catch them on fly. Um, the spear fishermen do get uh, a lot of them because they are very broad, obviously a very easy big fish to shoot. Um, but not the greatest eating fish in the world, so it's something that I wouldn't really recommend actively targeting. They're really more of a game fish um, for enjoyment more than actual ed edibility. So yeah, the, it's a fish that you're really going to be targeting more for the pleasure of catching than the actual pleasure of eating. Um, very large eye, obviously that alludes to the, the ability to hunt down um, prey fish. And yeah, a, a fish that's a, quite a tr tricky one to actively target, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna active or go after them, um, you're gonna be looking at something similar to how you target queen fish and snook. So your small lures close in on back line, uh, your fillet baits, and any of your other lures and things like that that you're gonna be using. Um, but yeah, that's where I sort of concentrate my effort and then obviously more on the tropical zones if you can. But yeah, so the two species, Electus solaris, Electus indicus. Um, we do get them from the side. Uh, every now and again, they are a nice surprise catch and something definitely to have on your species list. Cheers, guys.